traditionally, the, any picture of the Sacred Heart of Jesus has a parallel picture, Our Lady of Sorrows. While Jesus' heart is surrounded by a crown of thorns, Mary's heart is pierced with a sword. It reminds us of the great suffering that she endured by saying yes to God, knowing that when she made that fiat, she would endure great suffering, raising the Son of God. But nevertheless, her faith never stopped her from doing what God asked of her. When sufferings come our way, too often we turn away from God. It's kind of funny, isn't it? We pray because we're hurting, we need help, but if it doesn't come right away, we're not happy. You know, suffering is part of our human lives. Suffering is part of the Christian tradition. And suffering is certainly part of our whole psychological, emotional, and spiritual growth. Suffering enables us to grab hold a little bit more firmly of hope, to embrace our faith more deeply, and to understand better the power of love working through others given to us so often when we are suffering. And so today we turn to Mary, the mother of God, who in her sufferings taught us so many lessons. And we pray that even though perhaps our hearts feel pierced like hers, we know that that healing is always around the corner for us in our son, Jesus Christ. Amen.